So gentlemen, tell me, when is the last time you took a good close look at your nails? Do it now. How do they look? Clean, clipped, with healthy cuticles, or are they a hot mess? Jagged, dirty, nasty little nails. So my question to you is, would you want you touching you? <laughs> Whether you care to realize it or not, people notice your hands and nails. Now here's the deal. You may look amazing. You might be one handsome ass dude. Your haircut is sweet. Your style, on point. Your nose hairs may even be pruned to perfection. From 50 feet, you look like the man. But if somebody gets up on you, notices your hands or nails are nasty, mangled, bitten, nasty, did I say nasty? Mangled mess? You have just double-handedly killed your game, and quite frankly, I, I am not going to stand for it. And neither are the folks over at Zamberg.com. Together, we've teamed up to go over how to give yourself a manicure in five simple steps. So Zamberg.com, they sell premium grooming tools, kits, and sets. Well, they reached out to me. They said, yo, Alpha, are you interested in talking a little bit about nail care? I said, absolutely. So they sent me some amazing kits that I'm actually going to be demonstrating and using for this video. All right, all of the kits that you're about to see, along with all of the tools, are listed and linked down below. The grooming tools are made from premium handcrafted German steel and all hand honed. These are pieces of art. Art. But unlike other art that just hangs on your wall, this art helps you stay fresh and fly. Let's get started. So you want to get a manicure. What are your options? You can go to a salon and sit there with all the other women having your nails done, or you can man up and do it yourself. I choose this option. Now, there is nothing wrong with going and getting a manicure from the professionals, but this video is all about self-sufficiency, teaching you the things you need to know in order to have glorious, sexy hands. Have you ever noticed somebody, right? You look at their hands and they got funky greenish brown, just their fingernails have crap underneath them. This is not normal and this is definitely not a good way to make a first impression. All right, it's a good way to get people freaking grossed out, but it's a simple fix. Step number one is cleaning the gunk underneath the nails. All right, so I'm going to be using this little tool, which actually was designed for getting crap out from underneath your nails. And all you do is gently run it up and underneath your nail, all right? Each nail. What you're doing is you're getting out all of that dead skin cell, all right? And the buildup, you do get nasty skin cells and buildup. And just run it each of the nails. The tip of the file also will work excellently. All right, so your nails are now clean. Now it's time to move on to step number two, which is clip. Fat, nubby. Gnawed, bitten little nails are nasty. If you are currently biting your nails, you need to stop. Seriously, I know that it's tough. I know you're thinking, but it's a habit. I'm powerless. They just end up in my, it's like I'm talking and they're just in there. I don't even realize I'm doing it. And I get it because I am a former nail biter, but where there is a will, there is a way. You need to figure it out and kick the habit. Fact number two. Long nails are equally nasty, so you need to make sure that they are cut to a reasonable length. These are not your daddy's nail clippers. Oh no, these are a little bit special. Like we said, they're made of German steel. All right, you've got a little clipper right there, no problem. But then on the other end, you actually have a point to dig out all the gunk, and you also have a file, which we'll talk about in a second. Clip your nails. Don't bite them. All right. You want to follow the natural contour of the nail bed so that it is aesthetically pleasing. You want to leave a little bit extra, all right, but not too much because long nails make you look scuzzy. They are clean. They are clipped. Now it's time to smooth them out. Step number three is using a file. You're just going to smooth off the nail. All right. Make it nice and clean. Get rid of any sharp pointy edges because nothing will kill the mood when you're getting all seductive like scratching somebody with a rogue hangnail. <laughs> oh yeah, smooth, almost ready for touching, but not yet. You still have to manage your cuticles, which is step number four. This little baby is used to push your cuticles back away from the nail. Now, I learned the hard way that you should not cut your cuticles off. What you're doing is you're just pushing the cuticle back. All right, here's another cuticle tip. 
You ever get those little stray frayed cuticles, right? And you're like, duh, and then it bleeds like crazy and it hurts for a week? Yeah, don't do that. Instead of pulling, biting, I would recommend using a pair of high quality small little scissors, all right? You're gonna be able to get in there and just trim them up without actually hurting yourself or making yourself hemorrhage. And last but certainly not least is step number five, moisturize and condition. Now you can use hand lotion, you can use cuticle oil, or you can use a little dab of good old-fashioned Vaseline. Not much, right? And what you're gonna do is just rub it in on each of your nails, all right? Not enough to be all greased up and goopy, but just enough to condition and to lock in some of that moisture. Just a little bit. Goes a long way, all right? Makes them shine nice and pretty, and what you are left with are beautiful, perfectly manicured nails. Five simple steps is all it takes to have presentable, polished, and buffed nails. Guys, the manicure. It's not feminine, it's essential for your success. Because whether or not you realize it or not, other people are noticing your nails. Whether or not you notice other people is irrelevant because they're noticing yours. And I would hate for you to miss out on potential opportunities, both professionally and socially, because you're known as the guy with nasty hands and nails. Now, you could go out and spend a bunch of money on crappy products, all right, or you can go to Zamberg.com and check out some of their amazing grooming kits. All right, these tools are the best. And when I say best, I mean absolute best that I've ever had the pleasure to play with and give my <laughs> treat myself. Um, they're made of German steel. They're all hand honed. Guys, these are quality. This is something, your grooming set, that you can actually hand down to your children. You're going to have it because it's going to last. There are a ton of different options. A few of the ones that I checked out and that I actually played with that I fell in love with are linked and listed in the description along with some discount codes. And with the holidays coming up, these also make incredible gifts. Um, and here's the deal. With a quality grooming kit like this, you're done. Right? It's an investment. You're buying quality items and they last you. All right, Unlike the cheap stuff, these are going to be around for years. Guys, Zamberg.com, all the links are down in the description. But now you know the five steps to mastering the manicure so your digits look dynamite.